People think life is like a video game. But real life doesn't follow logical rules. Achieve a goal, advance to the next level, it throws you curveballs. The choices you make have consequences. And if you make the wrong one, there's no reset. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Well, there's an hour's progress down the drain, isn't it? Is it really progress, though? Look, can you help me go through my notes for the co-deputy head interview? Mm. You were reciting those notes in your sleep last night. You're the one should be giving the interview. I know, but this promotion could be a huge opportunity for us, and you are incredibly unemployed. Yeah, great. Kick a man while he's down, why don't you? I'm sorry, I'm just nervous. But you'd be the first to admit that you haven't got a whole lot going on right now. All right, well, why don't I try and make myself useful and... Cook you an old school fry up, just the way you like it. Calm those interview nerves. Mm, no, thank you, I couldn't stomach it. Mm. That's exactly what Ella said before she sculpted off to school this morning. Wish me luck. Good luck. Clean the house. Clean the house. Uh, Mum, let me um, call you back. I'll call you back later, okay? Right, hey, mate. How are you finding the new place? Uh, yeah. A few minor cat fights, nothing I can't handle. I feel like... I feel like me and Claire haven't spent quality time together in ages. And it's been difficult since the Marcus has been here. I mean, now my mum wants me keeping tabs on what socks he puts on every morning. Hey, you can't blame her for worrying about it. It's awful that he's had to have time off school sick when he's only just started. But hey, listen, you tell Demarcus from me, all right? We are really excited to have him back when he feels better, okay? Oh, sure will. Well, well, I think that went well. I mean, I thought I was going to throw up during my presentation about my vision for the school, but other than that... Nancy? You've been brilliant. Really? It's just, if I'm being honest, me and Darren, we could use the money. Oh, no, absolutely. Although I don't want to jinx it, I think that job's got your name all over it. Really? I'm going to text Darren right now. No, hold your horses. You're not hired yet. There's another interview with the governing board in a few days, you know. But, um, oh, you'll be fantastic. Nancy? Something's come up. I said I hang my head. Someone's dressed up for the hospital. Is there a fit new physio? Now, today's the day that I take my crotches back. I know it seems like a little thing, but to me it's kind of huge. But now, after today, I can go back to being the old me. Sid, that's brilliant. So, why have you got a face like a wet weekend in Skeggy? I don't. You deaf, old dude. What's up with you? I just, well, I just can't face letting you guys down if they say I'm not ready yet. You supported me so much, I just I want to repay you somehow. Sid, none of this is your fault, you know. Just like we didn't blame Pez and Juliet for some scuzzy little kid filming him in the bedroom. Yeah, but they were well brave. I'm just moaning about some stupid crutches. Hey, it's not stupid. You've been through a lot as well. Which is why I'm coming with you. Moral support and that. Come on. Hey, you don't owe us anything. Okay? You two just go to the hospital, see what they have to say. And... We'll face it as a family. Right? Yeah. How do you know? Because I found this. A urination stick that marks the end of Charlie and Ella's childhood. Oh. I mean, how could they be so stupid? They're kids themselves, they can't have a baby. Darren? Uh, uh, and what is it about this house that is irresistible to teenage couples getting knocked up? You know, first we have Brooke's pregnancy, and I swear Ella only had a scare like two minutes ago. Darren? But, but no, of course, we wanted to be the cool parents, didn't we? Hey? We thought they could get on with it and they'd be safe. I mean, how naive are we? Darren? Yes. That's my test. I'm pregnant. So, so, so how did this happen? 
Why? When? I think you're a little bit old for the birds and the bees chat, Darren. I missed my period last month. I didn't think that much about it because, come on, it's me. I'm a regular. So, to be honest, I'm as surprised as you when it came back positive. A, a couple of weeks ago. She'd been holding on to this secret that whole time. I only found out for sure last night. Still? Are you, are you ever going to tell me or...? I wanted to get the interview out of the way first, but Sally has told me that I've as good as got the job in the bag. So, I was thinking, while I'm going to be the one that's earning more money, maybe you could stay at home with him or her all day. I've only just found out that he or her or whoever exists, and you're already planning childcare. I am just trying to be proactive. All right, and... I wouldn't know anything about that, would I? Darren Osborne, the unemployed waster on your sofa. I don't get why you're being like this. Oh, don't you? I think it's pretty selfish, you planning all this without thinking about anyone else but yourself. It took two of us to make this baby, Darren. And in case you're forgetting, my last pregnancy ended in miscarriage. So excuse me if I don't want to tell anyone yet, because I'm very frightened about going through that again. So why don't you take your fragile ego out of the equation for one minute and respect my wishes? What about my wishes? <laughs> I think you need to go away and get your head round this. And if you can't come back and act like an adult, then you shouldn't come back at all. I just feel so useless, you know? I'm unemployed, nobody needs me anymore. I'm supposed to raise a kid. Nancy needs you. This is a huge thing, Darren. She can't do it alone. But what if I'm not ready, hey? Does that even matter? Hey, do you think anyone's ever ready? I mean, look at me and Di. We never thought we'd have four kids running around the place, let alone running a pub. I mean, I also would have a Michelin-style restaurant by now. Is that, is that supposed to make me feel better? I'm just saying, life happens. No one's ever prepared. You just gotta roll with the punches. I did, and I'm happy. Look, I promise I won't say anything about the baby. That's yours and Nancy's call. But whatever you choose to do, you've got to do it together. Just talk to her. I thought you'd be at work. Well, it was worth taking a day's holiday just to see Johnny P chatting around the village. How are you feeling? It was great. What? Well, I've been looking forward to this for so long, and now it's here. It's like, well, what now? But hey, there's more important stuff in our family right now, like Pez and Jules. So, when I cook dinner tonight, hmm? little celebration, cheer the girls up. <laughs> uh, I'd rather not get food poisoning, thank you. You look like you're heading for the gallows, mate. Trouble with a bird? Nancy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Really done it this time. Be surprised if she ever talks to me again. <laughs> well, if you need to get back in a good book, just buy some expensive jewellery. Oh yeah, of course. Just buy some expensive jewellery. I'm serious. Every bird likes a bit of bling, don't they? Stop playing it safe. You've got to seize the moment. Now, I'll text you a number of the jewellers in town. Are you for real? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got to lose. Sinister enough. All well, you're missing is a white cat. Well, the animal shelter was closed, Mr. Bond. Still. A bit of theatre always works in the courtroom, and it works just as well for petty revenge against those who have wronged me. You know, you're exactly what people hate about lawyers. Crafty, unscrupulous, morally bankrupt when it suits your agenda. Hmm. You really know how to sweet talk a guy, but unfortunately, I'm taken. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is, you're the person you want in your team when you need to fight dirty. Which, as it happens, I do. I know a guy who needs to be locked up, Dr. Ali Shazad. But I can't go down the legal channels to expose this creep for who he really is. 
He's got too much on my family. What I need is a mercenary. Someone capable of digging up enough dirt to kill any story he tries to spin about us. And does this mercenary get to know why he is destroying a man's life? Or what's in it for him? No, absolutely not. No questions asked. But, if you fulfill your end of the bargain, I'll have you brought back here at the Valley Law. What'd you say? Darren, I know you'll be getting these messages. You were surgically attached to that phone. So if you'd better call me back, or we'll be having very stern words. I've just told Darren that I'm pregnant. What? Oh, that's marvellous news! You can't say anything yet, because after last time, I just want to keep it a secret until later on. But Darren, he couldn't have reacted any worse. So I've told him to go away and come back when he can face this as a couple. But it has been hours and hours, and he's still not back. Oh, I don't know, but we know what Darren's like. He'll be off somewhere, getting his head around it. But I bet you very soon he'll be back. Well, I'm not so sure. But wherever he is, he better have a seriously good explanation. You've made a mistake. Just let me go. You said what now? I've signed you boys up to this. Give you something to work towards. Me, you, Tom, tomorrow morning. The boys are getting ripped, mate. 